Hello everyone. Hello everyone and welcome to a very impromptu, I think that's the word, out of the blue video. Um, I know I haven't uploaded in a while. I'm suffering from dermatitis on one of my eyes, so it really fucking stinks. It stinks so bad. And, um, and so I can't do makeup. So this is not a makeup video. Um, as you can see, I'm already wearing makeup though. I just have glitter here. Like I'm not wearing eyeshadows or foundations and I'm not waxing my eyebrows because my skin is very, very sensitive right now. And so is my scalp and my ear skin. It's just awful. But anyway, now I'm going to tell you how great my morning was. And so I woke up this morning and my stepdad was like, Hey, do you want to drive into the mall? And I was like, oh, I'm tired, but like, I want to go shopping. And so I went <laughs> and I shopped some at the mall, but then I decided to go over to the thrift store across the street. And I'm usually, like, I go there a lot looking for toys. And I mean, sometimes I have my good finds, like she's very decked out in the wrong outfit, but I have found a totally hair Barbie. Um, and she did come with her original clothes. So like, I have good finds like that, but like, you know, once every few months where you get that really good find. Um, and today, someone donated, probably, I'm assuming it was one person because there's so much of it. Um, someone donated their 80s toy collection. And I spent like a lot of money at the thrift store. Um, and I haven't fully, like, they come in little bags. Little bags, like such. Um, and there's like little accessories and one doll. Um, this is $4.99. It's kind of really expensive. Like, uh, like I think they knew the worth of the dolls. So like, they jacked the prices up. Because now you can get Barbies at Toys R Us for $8. And most of my Barbies here from Valley Village were about $7. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I had an amazing, amazing, amazing find. And I'll get actually into showing you what I got. So the first thing I found is a Skipper doll, and I've never had a Skipper doll before. I'm gonna open her bag now. I haven't opened it yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Which Skipper is this? Barbie? Genuine? She has a genuine Barbie. Um, it says right there. I'm not like, I'm really into Barbie, but I'm not like a big genius on her. And she is a 1987 mold. Let me close her clasp. Actually, I don't have a Skipper doll, and I have a brother in my room. Oh my god, she's so cute! I've never seen her face, like, in person. Oh my god, her head is 1987 too. I don't know if they switched the molds um, in between them. Oh, and she has the cracking knees. So satisfying. Okay, I was trying to say, um, I have Skipper's t-shirt boutique, I think. I can't read the thing from there, but like it has a big sign. It's like Skipper's Boutique and I don't have a Skipper doll to sell there. And it's supposed to be like a little like, I feel like it's like the shops that are on Santa Monica Beach or something. Um, I don't know, famous beach in California, I think, maybe Santa Monica Beach. So I feel like that's what the shop's supposed to be like. So I feel like she's going to look super great there with her swimsuit. And maybe I'll quickly search to see if I can find anything on her because I have info on some of the dolls. But not her. So, oops, I've done my research. This is Beach Blast Barb, um, Beach Blast Skipper from the Beach Blast Barbie set, and her hair is supposed to be like in a half up thing here with a little pony. But this is the original doll, I'm pretty sure, um, with her outfit, and that is so exciting. Bag also came with this neon silver bee Barbie beach bag. I wonder if that is part of the kit. I have the it open on the computer. I don't see it. Um, yeah, no. Oh, and um, I just realized she original originally came with a little hair extension clip in, I think, um, that changed color in the sun, which she does not have. But I still think she's great. <gasps> no way. No way. Okay, we're gonna have to take off her clothes and check out her waist. 
Do you see that? Her waist? She can like hula dance. Oh my god. And I got two new brushes. This one's definitely Barbie brush. This one, I'm not sure. That kind of looks like um, the thing you put on a horseshoe at the bottom of the star. I'm not sure what it's from. It's very cute. If you know, please tell me. Um, and I guess, oh, did I show the visor? Here's the visor. She also came with this, which is cute because she sells um, my Skipper's t-shirt boutique has visors for sale at it too. So, I'm so excited. The next bag are two very interesting girls. The bag's already kind of ripped open because I looked at them. First we got our orange neon leggings. Very excited. Oh, I haven't even fully dressed her. Her outfit was on the wrong Barbie, and I didn't like the Barbie it was on. Like, it was just, like, a boring newer Barbie. Okay, I don't want to call Barbie boring, but, like, it wasn't my style of Barbie. So, um, I had to, like, rip open the bag and put the, like, switch their outfits. But if you can hear the clicky clicks, I got a Barbie in the Rockers Dancer. And her outfit is kind of in awful condition and whatever. I really want to try to fix her up. Like, she's in awful condition, not gonna lie. She looks like she probably has had a haircut. I'm not sure. But this is her face. Will it show? This is her outfit. Like, she really needs some work. She has green paint. Um, her feet are... She looks like she's been walking through the woods. <laughs> um, she really needs some work. Yeah, her shirt's all, like, messed up in the back, and I don't really know how to fix it yet. Um, so I just tucked it in down there. But let's make her dance, okay? How do I make her dance? Oh my god! She looks crazy, and I love it! Oh my goodness! I can't wait to clean her up and make her all cute and fun but also in the bag we have barbie all-star she still has her hair in the same style which is great and i did find her coat in another bag i'll get it out of another bag okay these are her earrings um maybe you can't see them but they have little tennis um two tennis rackets and a tennis ball on them and she's part of the barbie all-star she needs a hair brushes but she's a tennis player she comes with this bag. Fancy, right? Tennis bag. Here she is with her jacket on that turns into a bag. I love the shoulders. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be in the back of this bag. I said actually. Okay, yeah, the golden thing is just kind of supposed to sit in the back, I guess. Maybe you can like put it in the pouch. But she still has a pouch on her back now. That'd be cute if she did come with her tennis racket and I could put it in. Um But here she is, very, very happy with her. I know I don't have all the accessories for them. But, I don't know, it's still just very, very exciting to get the dolls themselves. And they can share each other's accessories. <laughs> There's these heels. Um, one fell out, so I hope that fell somewhere in my bag. And also, there's this jacket, which kind of looks familiar, but I'm not sure. But I think it would look cute on Skipper. It's kind of like a short, cropped bomber jacket. Um... Oh, it has, like, a tag in it. Okay. <laughs> and that's bag number two. Okay, we're on bag number three. I have this Barbie and another Barbie left. And then we have more things. Um, a few more things. So this isn't, like, a complete Barbie. This comb just fell out of the bag. It's a cute comb. Makes me think of strawberry shortcake, maybe? I don't know. But I'm gonna organize them in my mini caboodle that my camera is sitting on right now. 
também. In this bag, we have Western Stampin' Barbies shirt. <laughs> and then, I don't know where a lot of these clothes are from. There is a Barbie in there. Um, Superstar Barbie, I think. We have these. Just a simple yellow shirt that I think would be good for Skipper. That would be actually be cute with that bomber jacket, maybe. Another brush in this color. A pair of green boots. I don't know if these are from. They're really cute, though. And if I'm saying, like, I don't know where something's from, or if I'm saying something, if I have something that I'm wrong about, please tell me in the comments. It's Hollywood Hair Barbie. And she's supposed to have glitter spray for her hair, like, in the original box. And, like, a jacket and a tutu that go over this, but she doesn't. But... She really needs a brush in. She kind of looks like Aurora from, um... Sleeping Beauty, but look at her star ring. These nails are so gross. I think she's amazing. I'm very happy to have her to match the suit. And that's everything for that bag. Next, we have my last Barbie bag. It's another Barbie All-Star in here. She doesn't have her outfit, but I believe this is Midge, pretty sure. Um, and it looks like she's baseball on her earrings. Um, she's got some edgy eyebrows going on, I just noticed that. And she has freckles, which is so cute. I need to clean her up a bit. Um, and she's wearing this pantsuit. I'm not, where she, not sure where it's from, but it's really cute. I love the floral. And she doesn't have any of her accessories or anything, so she's kind of like the least exciting one. But it's nice to have multiple Barbie All-Stars. And the bag of clothes she came with is one of the more exciting parts. So here is Western Stampin' Fun Barbie skirt. It goes with this shirt. So cute. <laughs> um, and next, I feel like some of these clothes are a bit more modern for Barbies. There's this dress, which is kind of confusing and strange. Um, I don't know who will wear it. Um, <gasps> I haven't completely looked through them. Okay, this is just a plain pink t-shirt. Kind of looks like it could be for a pregnant doll. Or something because it opens in the back it only has one clip i don't know i will make an outfit that's cute right we have these cute leggings i like this color um they have a little stain near the crotch but i wonder can i put barbie clothes through the washing machine i don't know probably not mm. now something very exciting I don't have a top that goes with these, but there's underwear and skirt that go together. I don't know what they're from, but I love them so much, and my Barbies are going to wear the heck out of them. And next, there's this cute swimsuit. It's just kind of like body glove style. I'm not sure if it's actual Barbie. It's like the older Barbie clothing material. It's like kind of stretchy, um, like nylon-y. One last brush, sit here. One of the little things is bent out. I don't know how to fix that, maybe with heat, but I don't want to risk ruining it. But this is the last brush. And we have the pair for the other pink heel. Everything's falling. And one more Barbie object is these Barbie pink Barbie heels, which will be fun to wear. Next, I have a wonderful story for you guys. I always go into Valley Village looking for Polly Pocket things, but I've never, ever, ever, ever found anything Polly Pocket. And I was very sad about that all the time. But guess what I came across today? It doesn't have any of its accessories. The Polly 
pocket mansion with the sunroom. Look how many openings this has. Here, like a dining room and living quarters. Another living quarters. It's like a playroom. There's a telescope. Kitchen and gym. I believe that's a kitchen. Yeah. And like when you open this up, look. There's doors. You can go through. There's no dolls with it or anything, but this is still a really exciting find. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be um, flags on top of this. This is like the pool area, but there is none. So when it goes down, the flags are supposed to hold it up. So it goes like that. But this is just a little picnic area in here. Um, this one's in the way. And then the garage. Open. How do you open the garage? Oh, I'm an idiot. Press this tree. And the car is supposed to shoot out, but there's no car. <laughs> um, doors are open. And I want to put batteries in it. See if it lights up. There's no batteries, I don't think, right now. Bluebird, 1994. But is this just not the greatest thing ever? And it doesn't smell. <laughs> and this is kind of a small thing. I don't know if it'll excite you guys. I had an 80s, early 90s type of day. A bag of hair clips. There were so many of these, you could tell they weren't open yet, but I'm going to sanitize them. Like, they've they never been used. There were so many. I am going to sanitize them just in case, obviously. But I think these will be great for doing my hair. There's... Yeah. These bags. These ones don't interest me as much at all. But if I need backup or if I want to use them to dye my hair and section it off, I'll use these. But just for like straightening and curling and stuff like that to my hair. I'm gonna open the bag. Yeah, it's never been open. Look at these magic clips. And they come in pink. That's not pink. They come in yellow. I got a gray white. I want to see yellow. Red. Violet. Light blue. And of course pink. I'm so excited to do my hair with them. Oh, I guess it's time for the last thing. This 1995 Barbie blanket. It's so soft. It has print on one side and it's just white on the other side. Here it is. Is there Barbie on this side? There it is. She is adorable. And on the ends, it has this nice, that kind of like cheap silk feeling thing, but it's like really, really soft. And I can't wait to wash this and cuddle in it. Usually I don't buy blankets and stuff secondhand, um, but I couldn't help it with this one. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> um, I think I actually might include the other things I bought today because I bought a few other things that weren't thrift, but um, I'll include them. I forgot, one thing that also came with the Barbies was in one of the bags. I already took this out to look at it. It came with this Sandy Lion Barbie sticker sheet. She's like gardening and stuff. I think it's so cute. I'm going to use it in my planner for um, late spring, early summer, I think. And then there's like a subscription thing to the official Barbie Collectors Club. But it's from year 2000, so I don't think, I don't think I can sign up for it. I'm about 19 years too late. But they also came with this guide to Barbie collecting. It's actually pretty empty. There's not much in it. But there's some wicked Barbies in there. This is year 2000. And I'm definitely going to keep it because it's really cute. And it's nice to have, like this doll information and stuff like that. I think it's super cool. It was the last one at the store. Sorry for the ring light, but 
Sailor Moon Monopoly. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know this existed. It was the last one there. And it was like 60 something dollars. But I was like, I love playing board games with my friends. And when I move out, I want only board games because they're all at my mom's house. So I think I need to start collecting board games. And this isn't even, like, it's not just a board game. It's a Sailor Moon collector's object. And this is the board. And they have these little pieces here. With the brooches on the wands. And I'm going to invite Lydia over soon to play. And all of, like, the like places that you buy the only other um, monopoly i played is like it's called monopoly st john and it's made after my city so um it's kind of different than the regular monopoly i don't have any regular monopolies like the lots you can buy and stuff are all sailor moon characters which is the best thing ever <laughs> and one card pile says love and one card pile says friendship and I'm so excited to play this. Next, um, I got some organic chips because my boyfriend and I are going to be playing video games all night tonight. So I just thought I'd get a snack. <laughs> um, and then here's some beauty products. As I mentioned, I have dermatitis and severely dry skin right now, so I picked up, I originally meant to go pick up face oil, and I used to have their rose coconut, like, moisturizing oil, but I ran out, which is part of the reason my skin has been suffering. I didn't find it there, this is from Marshalls, but I did find um, rose and apricot, coconut and rose, um, this is coconut and rose makeup setting spray. And this is rose and apricot um, priming oil. So I think these are going to be really good. I'm really excited to use these. I had their face oil before. I'll open it now. Let's see. Oh my god. I didn't realize it'd be dark. Oh, it's in a glass bottle. Fancy. We got that. <laughs> and makeup priming oil and next time I'm doing my makeup in a video I think I might use this I'll do like a first impression because I hope soon enough I can do my makeup next I have more skincare things I got this good night rose sleeping mask it's Korean um, I've never heard of it but since it's made in Korea it says it right there made in Korea I'm going to assume that it's good and you just put it on before you sleep. It's in this little bottle. It's very cute. Um, I'm, I really need to moisturize my skin like I'm running out of all my products in my, it's winter and I need it. Next, there's a stupid stickers all over this. You can see here, I got some huge ass eyelashes. Um, and I can't wear them now because I do not want to put eyelash glue on my eyelids when they're already dry and stinging. But when I start doing the makeup again, these are the Lashes for Days Glam Wispies in black. And I'm going to be wearing them and looking so cute. Last, I got this book, Champagne Supernova, and it's about like um, the heroin chic style and stuff like that in the 90s. Um, it says Kate Moss, Marc Jacobs, Alexander McQueen, and the 90s renegades who made, remade fashion. It's kind of like about 90s fashion and stuff. Oh, and there's a picture section. There's a picture section. Um, but yeah. Very exciting. And I think that's it. I hope this video turned out. I hope it wasn't too rambly because I'm very excited because um, I'm a shopaholic and I get real happy when I buy things. But um, I hope you liked the video. And if you have any information about the dolls that I got that I don't know anything about, like that I haven't mentioned, then please put it down below in the comments so that I can learn. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching me brag about my new toys. <laughs> um, and I'll see you all in the next video, which I can hopefully film a new makeup video soon. If not, I'm going to have a Killstar haul up.
If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you like me, please subscribe. Bye.